Hi guys, so this is gonna be my October gratitude video. So if you're not sure what that means, what's my gratitude video, I um, accepted the challenge um, at the end of last year to do uh, 366 days, because it's a leap year, of gratitude. So I post something I'm grateful for, for every day on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CanonNewFigal. And then I do a video supposedly at the beginning of the following month, but I know we're almost, November's almost over and I'm doing October's. It's kind of been the trend, but I'm still getting it done. Um, so yeah, so I go back and go through my Instagram and I show you the pictures that I use and then I elaborate on some of them. Um, cause you can't, I mean, you can type a lot on it, but people aren't going to read a lot on social media. So I usually try to keep it pretty, uh, short. So um, day 274, so that was the first day of October. Today I'm grateful that Casper ate his food and medicine. The last few days have been a struggle. So when I don't have a picture, I just use what are you grateful for today. So Casper is my, one of my cats and he has a chronic pain problem because he has um, arthritis in his hips. He's 14 years old and he gets deferred pain down his tail and he attacks his tail. So we have to give him gabapentin with food every day, um, with wet food, and he stopped eating. Like, he'd eat the wet food, he'd eat his hard food, drink his water, go to the bathroom, he was fine. But if I added his gabapentin to his food, he wouldn't eat the food, the wet food. So we end up having to go back to the vet and they end up changing his, the type of gabapentin that he's on, the compound, and it's perfectly fine now, but... It was very touch and go, and I didn't want him to attack his tail because he still sometimes attacks his tail even with the gabapentin. So day 275 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that despite feeling horrible, I got four loads of laundry washed, dried and put away, the kitchen cleaned, my office half strained out, and a few other chores. The host is coming together slowly. Um, and then my picture says, I'm not one to brag, but I totally got out of bed today. <laughs> So I've been really struggling with my chronic pain and that was a Sunday and I just, yeah, some days are harder than others. But anyways, uh, day 276 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful my amazing husband had a good birthday despite the fact it was a Monday, um, a Monday work day. Jess wish I was home in time to cook him supper. At least I was able to get him his favorite cake, Black Forest cake. And so the bottom, because he loves the minions, is, ha is just a stock picture happy birthday. But this one, I usually make him Black Forest cake every year, and I wasn't able to, but I was able to buy him one from Sobeys, which is his favorite place to buy it. So that um, is very good. Oh, here's a picture. Just side note, there's a picture of Casper. Because <laughs> his birthday was a day after, so I posted a thing about him. Anyways, day 277 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for kitten cuddles, pictured here is Casper and Dawn. So this, uh, can I tell who's who? I think the one that you can see their head right up here, that's Dawn and stretched out is Casper and they're actually on my lap. Uh, they make every day so much easier, especially when you have pain and they, they lay on my side or wherever it hurts and they purr and it just, oh, I can't, you can't beat having cats, in my opinion. Uh, day 278 of gratitude, today I'm grateful my day from hell ended on a high note, sort of. Did I met and the picture I was uh, I found was did I mention that today is go to hell in a handbasket day? Just having a bad day. I can't even remember what it was all about. Probably uh, my work and the pain and everything mixed together. Um, day two seventy six of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that our appliances are finally fixed. We hope so. Um, what am I grateful for? Uh, cause they came, they had to fix our washer, our new washer, our new fridge and our new dishwasher. Cause we live in a new house. If you guys are new around here. Um, and yeah, my husband took the day off. They came, they did it, but just last night. So this is now the middle of, of November that I'm um, filming this. Our dishwasher is leaking again. So they have to come again. So yeah. So, we hope they were fixed and, well, apparently the dishwasher's not. Um, day 280 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for Dr. Don't Ask Me How to Say His Name. Um, he's my dentist and his amazing team. They made the process of getting a dental implant a lot easier. 
all the staff from the reception to the tech to the assistant to the doctors themselves are so helpful, calm, supportive, and friendly. Um, this is a picture of me when I first got back in my car. My face is all messed up because it's frozen. So in here, I still don't have the tooth, but I have the implant in the titanium. It's healing into my jaw, and I have a healing cap on it, and I go January 17th to get the impression for the tooth, and then it takes two to three weeks. So probably by the first week of February, I will have my new tooth. I'm quite excited about that because my mouth is very painful. Um, and if once again, if you guys are new around here and don't know why I lost that tooth, my tooth abscessed did almost two years ago to the day. It was the 30th of November of 2014. I don't know if you can hear that. That's my crazy cat meowing. Uh, day 281 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful despite being in pain and not feeling well I was able to get some shopping done. Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Best Buy. So I just used their logos. Um, let's see. Day 282 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for this delicious meal that my amazing husband made. So was this Thanksgiving? Yeah, this is um, the 9th, yep, of October. This was Thanksgiving dinner. I live in Canada, so Thanksgiving is in October. So that was uh, chicken, parsnip, carrot, baby potatoes, and um, homemade cranberry sauce that I had made a while before. Um, oh, kitties. What the heck? Okay. Day 283 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for being able to get a little down, what? A little done, even though I was extremely sick today. Things to do today. Get up, survive, go back to bed. That's how I feel a lot of days lately. Uh, day 284 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful my participants got to do their volunteer hours despite me getting the date wrong. So they went to the Edmonton Food Bank. And I had actually thought it wasn't that day, so I told them all to come to the office. And then it actually was that day, so they all had to go back. So it was a bit of a rigmarole, but they actually got it done, and they were able to get their four hours in, which meets their program requirements. Plus, it helps out the food bank. Um, day 80 to 85 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful. I took a chance. It didn't pay off, but I'm proud of myself for trying. So it says, if you don't get, if you don't go after what you want, you will never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you'll always be in the same place. I, and I love that quote. I don't know who it's by. I guess it's anonymous because there's never a name on. Um, so yeah, I took a chance on a deviation of my career for the next few years why I do um, some more schooling, which I'm gonna do a video on real soon. Um, and it didn't work out, the company, it, it wasn't the right fit for me, but I was proud of myself for actually trying and putting myself out there. Uh, day 86, two, why do I keep forgetting the two? 286 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I was able to steer the ship into calm waters. I'm not afraid of the storm, for I'm learning how to sail the ship. And that had to do with work. Um, uh, some really bad stuff had happened. Um, I was treated, well mistreated, let's just say. Um, that's to say the least. And I got really upset and I was gonna blow up and I ended up leaving and I'm making an excuse to leave at the end of the day. Um, I had to go deliver some, some checks to some of the companies we work with. And then I was able to come home, talk to my husband about it, and then that day I went in and I was able to talk to the regional manager and stuff in a very calm way. And I was able to get her to see more of what I was trying to say the day before when I got so frustrated. So I was grateful to have found myself a note and then, then and being able to speak to my husband who has such a rational mind and then being able to go in the next day and, and talk to them about it. Um, day 287 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I made it home safe despite the snow we got today and people's inability to drive. So this is our back parking pad. 
you can kind of see the the driveway if you look really hard but people are just idiots they don't know how to drive and people say oh that's because you're from you're from um Newfoundland Nicole you're just so used to snow that's part of it but part of it is when it's snowing outside when it's slippery I slow down I leave more space I use common sense and unfortunately the people in Alberta don't seem to do that um day 288 of gratitude today I'm grateful um, grateful for, for my new David's tea, iced tea maker. It definitely puts a new spin on drinking water. So this is my David's tea. I actually did a video on how you make the iced tea in it. It's so awesome. Um, and it's so good and it really helps you if you're someone who struggles to drink water, which I'm not. I drink my, I drink more than my eight liters of water a day, but if you are someone struggles, make it with, if you can drink tea without putting a lot of sweet in it, then you can make the iced tea, because you can use loose tea, you can use bag tea. Um, it's definitely a way to get in your water, because it's 550 mils, and I keep filling it and keep filling and filling it, and I get the ta the iced tea taste for probably three liters, so six, six bottles of it. Um, so if you want to see how you make it, um, check out my uh, video on that. Uh, day 289 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I was able to get something accomplished despite feeling horrible. So it's a little teddy bear and says, Today was tough, but each morning the sun rises, bringing hope for a new day. So as you can see, the theme going through a lot is how I've been feeling lately. Um, day 290 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the simple things in life, like sugar-free vanilla, vanilla Italian soda. This is a good earth coffee host. This is actually, they have one of these in the basement of um, the mental health clinic I go to. It's the only time I've ever been able to get it. And then when we moved, there's one south of the city. So between where the town I live in and, and the main city, there's one there. It's amazing. And you, you can always get Italian, pretty much anywhere that sells Italian soda. You can always get, or pretty much always, sugar-free vanilla Italian soda because they use, or yeah, vanilla Italian soda because they use the sugar-free vanilla syrup in a lot of like coffee drinks. I don't drink coffee, but like the fancy drinks, they have to have the sugar-free vanilla in order to make those drinks, and it's the same syrup. And you can usually get um, sugar-free caramel too but I find that really weird as an Italian soda um day 291 of gratitude today I'm grateful that after a hard day I was able to spend the evening doing something I love and guess what that was guys YouTube yeah day 292 of gratitude today I am grateful despite a rough start I was able to get through the day and get a little bit accomplished and here's Dora from Finding Nemo, Just Keep Swimming. And that's what I've been doing, just keep taking one day at a time, pushing forward, pushing forward. Um, day 293 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I made it through the day. See, once again, here is always, oh sorry, there is always, always, always something to be grateful for. And there absolutely is. I totally agree. Um... Day 294 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that I received my I Choose Joy bag today, especially on a day where I was having an extremely hard time finding my joy. Thank you, Peter and Mary. Um, and they're from the Fry Life. Whoops. So this is, um, if you guys don't know about the Fry Life, Mary has cystic fibrosis and they do a daily vlog and they started it when they went over to Scotland so that Peter could do part of his, I don't know what it's called, he, he became a pastor. I don't know what it's called. He, anyways, he went over there to study and they were able to stay over there five, six months before she got too sick and they had to come back to, to they live in the States. Um, but their income is now YouTube um, and follow them, the Fry Life, they're amazing. And then also they have an online store. Um, and then of course Peter works as a pastor, which I'm assuming doesn't make a lot of money because in Canada they don't, because I have some family that are pastors and, and um, 
ministers and they they don't um most of what they make is the joy of knowing they're helping others but anyways i choose joy is one of the things that uh, mary says a lot um the hashtag that you see on a lot of my stuff i choose joy that's mary's hashtag um so this is a drawstring bag you can see the strings on the side there and um Anyways, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but what this has become is my medical bag. So I'm going to do a video on like reveal what's in it, but like my, um, my diabetic stuff or my sugar stuff, I should say, cause I'm not diabetic. Um, they put me on medic long story. I'll get to another video, but essentially they put me on diabetic medication again, thinking that I'm diabetic and it made my sugars go way too low, so now I have to test my sugars like six times a day, track what I eat and all that stuff, so my book's in there, my pen's in there, um, my EpiPen's in there, my puffer's in there, my stuff for my sinuses in there, like all my medicine, so this drawstring, and then I put it in my work bag, or I put it, I take it, um, if I'm going, going out, like sometimes I'll just put my wallet in it, because it pretty much has everything I need in order to, um, in order, order to, you know, go out, like if I'm going shopping, when I go shopping on Sundays, I just put my wallet in it, my phone in it, and away I go. So I'm very grateful for them and what they're doing. I know, I mean, they're doing it for the love of what they do. They're doing it to spread awareness about cystic fibrosis. They're doing it to spread awareness about living with a chronic illness. But they're also doing it, I, I think partially just to, to, to share that joy and I'm just so grateful that they do share that joy so if for some how Mary and Peter you're watching this thank you thank you thank you you give me the fuel I need on a lot of days to move forward sometimes like I'll watch I watch the videos every night and sometimes I watch it again in the morning just to get my butt out of bed because I can't like I'm just in so much pain and feeling so horrible so if by chance you're watching Fries. Hi. I love you guys. Um, day 295 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that our vet was able to confirm that the cyst on Sammy's eye is just full of fluid and there's enough skin behind the cyst to stitch up the hole. And on top and to top it off, because he is 12, he could use a good dental cleaning because he's never had his teeth cleaned. Um, so she is going to put him to sleep and do the full dental cleaning while he's asleep she's also going to fix his eye so incredibly grateful we found our new vet and if you look very carefully on this would be his right eye if you look very carefully there's a cyst right there and he's going to get he hasn't got it removed yet um and get his his dental done because it's not urgent there's absolutely nothing wrong like it's just fluid and it's more cosmetic it's more a relief for us. We want to get it done, and that's why we're like, well, maybe we shouldn't. But then when she looked at his teeth, she said, I can put it together. Like, he should really have his teeth cleaned. Um, so we're going to do it. Um, but because it's not an emergent, um, we're probably going to wait until the new year. And one of the reasons why we're waiting, you will see very, very soon, because I'm going to do a video on a new, not a new, two new additions to our family. Um, day 296 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that I was able to get two rooms about 80% done despite feeling horrible. And today I choose happiness. Oh, little sneak peek into those two additions. Uh, day 297 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I was able to rescue these two sweet baby boys. And I can't tell you which is which in this picture. I think the one on the pad is Dante and the one still in the carrier is Virgil. But you will meet them in a video really, really soon. Um, day 289 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to be alive. And this is Pooh Bear. I love Pooh Bear, especially the classic Pooh Bear. And so this is classic Pooh Bear and it says... Pig, piglet noticed that even, what? Piglet noticed that even though he had a very small heart, it could hold a, an enormous amount of gratitude. And this is just a little classic piglet. I love that. Um, they came up with Winnie the Pooh, the like Winnie the Pooh you know now, when I was probably around 
10-ish. So I grew up on classic Winnie the Pooh. Oh, here's another picture of them. Uh, day 299 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful these two little guys are getting along with the rest of the family. So these on the bottom that they're on, they're sitting on my husband's lap. And the one uh, that you can see more of that's up tall, that's definitely Dante and the other one's Virgil. And then up above, that's the two of them eating their kitten food with Dawn. Um, Dawn is one of my cats who is 13 and she's underweight. She has a lot of belly issues and kitten food she can actually keep down for the most part. So she, we, she still will eat the um, time drop food that everyone has, but we were giving her kitten food once in a while, um, but she doesn't always wanna go in her room. But once the kittens came and she was smelling it all the time because they had to be in the room by themselves for a while until we made sure that they were okay and all that stuff. Um, when she started smelling it all the time, she wanted it. So she now goes in the morning when we first get up, she goes in with them, they have their food. And then when we come home at night, when I give Casper his medicine in our bedroom, I put them in my office. And so that was her eating the kitten food with them. Uh, day 300 of gratitude today. I'm grateful I was able to avoid all the accidents on the way home. So this one, I didn't obviously take a picture because I was driving and paying attention. So I just used the what are you grateful for, but that was another day of snow when people were acting crazy. Um, almost at the end, day third, uh, well, what did my camera just do? Anyways, day 301 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I was able to make it through the day without fainting. The pressure in my sinuses is insane today. And I don't know who this little kid is, but there's a whole bunch of stock pictures of him. Um, this sinus infection has me like, <laughs> and there's lots of pictures of him with that face and different uh, memes made out of it. So I am not sure who that kid is, but he's cute. Uh, day 302 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for a lazy day at home. Hopefully it will help us regain our strength for the week ahead. And then feeling sick as a dog. This is when my husband got his lung, well, not lung infection, um, really bad chest cold, and I was feeling horrible, and I thought I was going to get it, and that was, what, October 29th, and it's now almost a month later, and I'm just getting it now. I'm hoping to fight it off, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Uh, day 303 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful that on a high pain, low energy day, I was able to push myself to do some chores, laundry, cat litter, clean up the kitchen, put away dishes, and a few others. Plus, I was able to go to both Sobeys and Walmart. I think it has been a good day. And then this is just a stock picture. Um, living with chronic pain. That's from one of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of. And then the last day of October. Um... Day 304 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful I was able to be part of the Teal Pumpkin Project. So I support Teal Pumpkin, hashtag Teal Pumpkin Project. Um, and I actually did a video on that, which um, I'm going to still try to fix and post, even though Halloween is long gone. Um, because when I was a child, there was no Teal Pumpkin Project. And I have so many allergies. And I just loved it when someone would give us pencils or erasers or you know anything that wasn't food and of course my sisters were like are you and friends were like are you crazy I want the candy but when you can't eat most of the candy <laughs> so I'm going to try to post that as well because it was about what I did because I did it at work and at home and also thanking people for being part of the Teal um, Pumpkin Project so I think I'm going to try to still repost it or post it if I can get the video to if I can edit it to to figure it out but anyways that is my October month of gratitude um hopefully by the 9th or 10th of December, I will have my November month of gratitude up. Don't quote me on that though. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys all on my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.